Ladies, gentlemen, kids, creatures, hello, hello, it's me, I'm back. It's time to talk about playoff football, not Eagles football, because they're not good enough for playoff football. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do kind of like a weekly picks type thing, but I'm going to talk about the games a little bit more, because there's only six of them. Um, still wrote them down on a list, though, just in case. Um, <clears throat> I was pretty sure I remembered everything, but, you know just in case I don't. So, my weekend is dead already. Because I'm going to be spending all day, both days, watching football. Which is perfectly fine with me. Uh, my mother was like, hey, you want to maybe get together with your cousins next week? And I'm like, no. Because I just play on football. <laughs> I'm not missing that. Sorry. Sorry, cuzzo. But, nah. My, uh... A friend of my school used to harass me all the time. Um, say, you know, what are you going to do when you grow up and get married and your wife wants to go out and do something on a Sunday? Nope, sorry, can't. It's football season. Not not allowed. Sundays are sacred, but for a whole different reason. <laughs> so anyway, I am very, very excited about the playoffs this year. Uh, I, I think... Don't get me wrong, I think there's one or two games, maybe three games this week that probably aren't going to be... I, I could see some blowouts this weekend, um, but I think there could also be some pretty good games. I think moving forward, there's going to be some really good games. Um, so, let's start. Saturday at 1 o'clock, Colts at Buffalo Bills. <clears throat> I think the Colts are a good solid, well-rounded team. But I just think the Bills are better than them in every single aspect of the game. Quarterback. Look, Rivers is good. Rivers is still good, but he's not the most consistent thing in the world, obviously. And that's not even... I mean, that's been the last few years. He hasn't been tremendously consistent. Josh Allen is most definitely the up-and-coming player in the NFL. Uh, I mean, he is... To me, personally, he is this year what Mahomes was last year. The problem is... Mahomes is still getting so much of the national attention, whereas I don't think Allen's quite getting the... <clears throat> Josh Allen, for some reason, isn't getting the media circus that, like the media, not circus in a bad way, but the media frenzy that Mahomes did last year, and even this year, even though Mahomes has been, <clears throat> I'm going to say off for the last few weeks, I... I think right now, at this point in time, I think Josh Allen is the most exciting quarterback in the league right now. And I know, what me personally, if, if, if I was able to vote, and the vote was today, my vote for MVP would be Josh Allen. I understand what Aaron Rodgers has done. But, I... There, there's people that don't even have a significant number of people, by the way, it, from my experience, that they don't even have Josh Allen in the conversation. It's Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes. And I'm like, where the... Like, if you think Mahomes or Rodgers deserves it, okay, fine. Rodgers more so than Mahomes, in my humble opinion. But Josh Allen's got to at least be in that conversation. I mean, oh my God. How can he not be in that conversation? I still think Derrick Henry should be in that conversation. Just uh, broke 2,000 yards for the season. But he's a running back, and running backs don't win that award. So, <clears throat> moving on. Um, the Bills' offense, is, is, is I think, is better. Um, your number one's got Diggs versus T.Y. And T.Y. Hilton's a good receiver, but... Diggs has been on freaking fire this year. I think... I don't know. I think the filler guys are better, too. 
you know, the John Browns of the world, the Cole Beasleys of the world, the Dawson Knoxes of the world. Um, the, the, I don't know if the Bills running game has been really good. The Colts running game has been really good. I think I would take the Bills defense right now over the Colts, not by a whole lot. Um, coaching, again, it's close. Frank Reich has proven to be a very good coach. So is Sean McDermott. I'm taking Buffalo. I, I could honestly see... Not that I don't think the Colts can put up points, but my God, Buffalo puts up a lot. I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout. But man, Buffalo has a lot of potential to put up a lot of points. <clears throat> It's going to be interesting. I'm going Bills, by the way. The next game, I haven't quite figured out where to go. Rams at Seahawks, 430. Both of these teams have been ridiculously inconsistent. One week, they look like they're going to be a lock for Super Bowl champion. And the next week, they, I don't know, lose to the Jets. I, like, I mean, obviously they both have good records. They made it to the playoffs. At certain points, the Rams will look like the greatest team in the NFL, and sometimes they just, the offense just shuts down, and I'm not terribly sure why. Goff has proven to be streaky at best. He'll have stretches of super good, and he'll have stretches of turnover-laden, inconsistent, super super bad. I, I don't know what causes it. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but that's what I've seen. Um, <clears throat> the Hawks, on the other hand. They started off the year, and Russ was throwing four or five touchdowns a game, and the Seahawks looked absolutely insane. And then the defense kind of got injured a bunch and fell apart, and they were asking Russ and the offense to win shootouts every week. And they kind of fell behind a little bit, and then they came back, and Jamal Adams came back, and they went out and they got... Uh, Dunlap, right, from the Bengals. And the return of Jamal Adams, excuse me, spiked something in that defense. Because they've looked very good. They're winning games now because of their defense, which is insane. If you, you know, if you had told me that back in the beginning of the season, or even mid-season, that Seattle would be winning games because of its defense again, not many people would have believed you. <sighs> Seattle's offense, on the other hand, has kind of gone down the toilet. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. But their offensive consistency has been non-existent for the last few weeks. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't really know where to go with this. The Rams aren't... Here's the thing. The Rams aren't playing good football right now, and neither are the Seahawks necessarily from an offensive perspective. These teams both have good defenses. They both have aggressive defenses. Seattle doesn't have the benefit of the 12th man. I don't know. I, I think... I think I'm going to go with Seattle. If both teams are playing bad football, I still feel like I'd take, in a pinch, I still feel like I'd rather have Russ at the helm than Goff at the helm. And that's just, I don't know, that's just how it is for me right now. Um, <clears throat> Tampa, Tampa Bay at Washington. So this is a game I... Obviously, the shit show that happened last week in Philly. Look, if if the Giants made it to the playoffs 
and faced Tampa Bay, they would have been annihilated. Like, it wouldn't have even been close. There was no way it would have been close. I'm not saying this game is necessarily going to be close. I think it could be. The reason I say that, Washington's defense is very, very good. They have a really, really good pass rush. The best way, I think, to beat Tampa Bay is with a pass rush. Or, this is the other reason I hesitate here, the best way to beat Tampa Bay is to have Tampa Bay beat themselves, which they have done repeatedly this season. There have been games where the offense will just, the Bears game, where the Tampa Bay's offense will just shut down. Sometimes they play the Packers and they drop 45. Sometimes they play the Bears and they can't break 20. I I don't know. Offensive inconsistencies, Brady coming into a new system, getting familiar with the receivers. I I don't know. But at multiple times, the Bucs offense has stuttered. Um, Now, the problem with that logic... Washington also does not have much of an offense. <clears throat> they don't have much in the way of a run game. Antonio Gibson's been good, but he's their run game is it's just it's been mediocre. Their passing attack does not have a lot of weapons to it. I mean, their number one tight end is a former NFL or a former college quarterback. Their number one receiver is McCorn, who was good, but continue down the depth chart, and they don't really have anything there at receiver. The only hope that Washington has is that this is a low-scoring game. If it's a low-scoring game, they have a chance. If the Bucks offense comes out and they're firing on all, on all cylinders, there's no shot. Washington has no shot whatsoever. <clears throat> I'm picking Tampa Bay to win this game, but I will, A, laugh my ass off if Washington wins, and, B, I'm not saying it's outside of the realm of possibility. That's all I'm getting at here. That being said, moving on to Sunday. First game. Familiar matchup. Baltimore Ravens at Tennessee Titans. Derrick Henry just broke a 2,000-yard season. Eighth player in NFL history to do so. The Ravens have more rushing yards per game than passing yards. Thanks to, of course, Lamar Jackson. Typically, in the past, the key to beating the Ravens in the playoffs was make Lamar Jackson throw the football. Which, I, I, I don't necessarily... He's had a... He had a bit of a rough spell going through the middle of the year. But I certainly don't buy into the idea that Lamar Jackson can't throw a football. Um, I mean, hell, the man's never turned. The man's never. He's thrown what forty-eight touchdowns in the red zone and zero interceptions. There's something to be said there. The Ravens' defense is quite good. Tennessee's defense is not, and this will be the problem. Tennessee does not have a pass rush to speak of whatsoever. They just don't. Their secondary, it's been exposed a few times recently. Offensively speaking, I like Derrick Henry, I like Ryan Tannehill, I like A.J. Brown.
I really don't know where to go with this game. I, I sincerely want to pick Tennessee. Um, this is... This is easily the toughest game for me to call uh, this week. I, I actually, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go with Baltimore here. I, uh, I don't know. I kept telling my, like I've been telling myself the last couple of days that I'm gonna get uh, pick Tennessee. They beat them last time. They. Man, this is this is tough. You know what? I'm just gonna say fuck it and pick the Titans. But oh god, there's just there's something. Ah, there's something back there that's telling me. Nope, nope, not doing it. I'm picking Baltimore. I, I'm 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 picking Baltimore this week. Just you watch. I I don't know what it is. I I have I have no idea. I have no idea what it is. But something something tells me Baltimore is gonna win this. I hope Tennessee wins it because I'd love to see Ryan Tannehill win a Super Bowl. That'd be freaking amazing. But I don't know. I think I don't know. I just think Baltimore's got this somehow. The next game, much 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 easier for me to pick. Check the time here. Okay. Much much easier for me to pick the next game. Saints. Uh, I'm sorry. Bears at Saints. Uh, the Look, the the Bears offense has looked better as of late. Saints have a pretty good defense. I still don't trust Trubisky. There's just not a whole lot there on the offense to speak of outside of uh, Allen Robinson and David Montgomery and, and old-ass Jimmy Graham, who still knows how to run routes and catch a football very effectively. But, you know, the Saints offense has been not that great this year. Um, but I don't know with Drew Brees at the helm, he just he doesn't turn the ball over a whole whole lot. Then you've got Taysom Hill as your Swiss Army knife rather than playing quarterback full time. And Alvin Kamara is set to play this week, and the man is a one man wrecking ball. I hope it's close. I think it could be close if the Bears offense shows up. But uh, I just I don't trust the Bears offense to show up uh, ever. So yeah, I'm going with New Orleans. Last game of the of the weekend, Sunday night football, Browns at Steelers. Historically speaking, the Browns do not play Pittsburgh well. Um Say say what you will about it, um, but Cleveland's offense has looked unstoppable at times this year. I'm um, thinking fifty some odd points against the Ravens, uh, fifty some odd points against Dallas. Pittsburgh's defense is still scary. For me, this is one of my favorite things about that Super Bowl run with the Eagles. The battles were won in the trenches. We had a good pass rush, and we had a freakishly good offensive one. That's where I think Pittsburgh's at right now. Pittsburgh cannot run the football at all. Their running game is horrendous. Like, like could very well be a liability. Horrendous. Their offensive line has given up the least number of sacks in the NFL this season. And their defense has gotten the most sacks this season in the NFL. That that, that accounts for something. <clears throat> the run game will not get going 
which means they're going to have for for Pittsburgh, which means they're probably going to have to ask Ben to throw the ball a lot, and that has been their downfall this year. But if Pittsburgh's defense holds up Cleveland's run game, I'm not sure I trust Baker throwing the ball a whole, whole lot either, and that's therein lies my problem. If Cleveland can get their run game going, I think they could win this game. But ultimately, I'm not sure how well I see it getting going. I think I'm going to go with Pittsburgh this week. And I don't think they'll win next week. Because if they win, I'm guessing they'll have to play... I'm guessing they'll have to play either the Bills or the... Chiefs. I I think they're going to beat Cleveland. I think Cleveland could win, like I said, if their run game gets going. I'm just not sure. I, I'm not sure I trust my pick to that. Let's say that. Um, I'm, I, I am going to go with Steelers. I think it's going to be a tight game. But ultimately, I think I'm going to have to go with Pittsburgh here. So, what time is it? i got to go in a few minutes. So, in summary, I've got Bills over the Colts, Hawks over the Rams, Bucks over Washington, Ravens over Titans, Saints over Bears, Steelers over Browns. Let's see how I do. Um... The Ravens pick is still messing with my head a little bit, but, you know, I'm going to stick with Baltimore because I think Lamar Jackson might finally break that streak. We'll see. I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to finish this and go get back to work. And uh, catch me on Twitter. I'll be live tweeting the games. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you there. Peace out. Goodbye. Feels great not to talk and stress about the Eagles. I can just sit back and watch football. Enjoy your weekend.